So yesterday and today I worked on getting MSX Basic to work on the RC2014. Um, I'm going to load the MSX ROM. And then I'm going to run it. And I'm going to paste in a basic program that I've written. So, um, one of the challenges with getting MSX Basic to run was that it needs um, the MSX keyboard to be emulated. And so I did that by taking uh, serial input from the terminal and then converting the, the ASCII codes from the serial port to um, keyboard scan codes for the MSX. I just built a little table um, that does that conversion and then uh, the the challenging part was getting the shift key to work because you have to send a specific shift scan code before uh, the character then you have to send the character and then you have to send a shift scan code again after the character in order for it to register as um, as shifted so I got that working. Um, one of the things that's kind of special about MSX Basic that you can't do with like MBasic on CPM is that it has built-in graphics primitives and you may have seen some of that running, um, running by as the program typed in on the screen. Um, so here I've got a clock that reads the real-time uh, clock chip on my Z80 control IO expander um, and then does some math on it uh, using sine and cosine to calculate the angle of the hands on the clock and then uses the built-in graphics drawing um, primitives to draw a circle and then to draw lines for each of the hands. Um, so that's working. Um, currently I haven't gotten the um, some of the special control keys for the MSX working and um, so like for example if you run a program that goes into an infinite loop normally on an MSX you would do control stop I haven't gotten that to work um, haven't gotten like arrow keys and stuff like that to work but it's to the point now that it's usable also I haven't done anything to implement a cassette interface or a drive interface for the MSX, so there's no way to actually save your program once you have um, once you've typed it in. Um, but what I did was just create the program in a text editor on my PC and then paste it into TerraTerm, and I had to set about a 30 millisecond delay, I believe, or maybe maybe it was 50 milliseconds. Uh, yeah, 50 milliseconds. So that's why it kind of was slow typing in, but if I didn't set that, then it, I found that it wouldn't um, reliably type in the program. So that's pretty much it.